right, this is post-isometric relaxation technique of the scalenes. Um, we want to make sure that our patient is not in any type of cervical flexion. So I'd ask Kristen to take her ponytail out so that that doesn't kind of get in the way of any movement we're going to do. So we're going to look at the middle scalene first on Kristen's left hand side. We're going to take her into nothing more than lateral flexion. So I'm hooking her under the upper cervical region to help bring her uh, laterally. I'm going to hold her there with my right hand. My left hand is going to be a contact at the nape of her neck. So this region is the nape of the neck. And I'm really just doing nothing more than taking the slack out. I'm going to ask Kristen to go ahead and shoulder shrug for me. So it's same motion kind of as upper trapezius and lumbator. 25% effort, 4 to 10 seconds. She relaxes and we're just taking the slack out here at the nape of the neck. Okay, this is middle scaling, and it's uh, lateral flexion only. Now, if we wanted to target posterior scaling, that would be lateral flexion and rotation away. If I do lateral flexion and rotation away, it looks like I'm looking behind me. It looks like I'm looking posterior. This is posterior scaling. So, again, lateral flexion. Rotation away. Okay. This time I'm going to switch hands. It's just a little easier holding. Either way will work. See what feels more comfortable for you. I'm going to take the slack out at the nape of her neck. She's going to shoulder shrug. And then relax. Okay. Shrug. Again, that's a 25% effort of the shrug. 4 to 10 second hold. And then she's just going to relax. Now, if we were going to do anterior scaling, that's still lateral flexion, but with regards to rotation, we only have one way left. So anterior scaling is going to be lateral flexion away with rotation towards. Okay, again, this is anterior scaling, lateral flexion away, rotation towards. I'm holding Kristen's uh, head, upper cervical region, primarily with my right arm now. My left hand is going to come into that nape of the neck. We're going to ask her to shoulder shrug. And then she's going to relax. This is anterior scaling post-isometric relaxation technique. One more time.